The Lancers of Manchester visit the Cavaliers of Clover Hill for a midseason JV matchup. The Cavaliers would get the ball first, and they would start on what became a very hard fought drive. Joe Caleb and Connor Donnelly made early punishing runs, and that was followed by Andrew Olson connecting with A.O. Oliver. Oliver picking up yardage, followed with even more punishing runs by Donnelly and by Caleb, and the Cavalier offense continued to pound its way down the field. It'd be Caleb then breaking free for the big game, 20 yard run along the right side, and the Clover Hill drive set poised to find the end zone. It looked as if the Cavaliers may lose their chance, but Kenny White would jump on the loose ball, thus keeping the Cavs in control and the drive alive. Chris Conklin's catch was ruled out of bounds on the first attempt at the end zone, but the Cavaliers went back to the ground and Connor Donnelly punched it in with Michael Bowles' kick tacking on the extra point. The Cavaliers now lead by seven early but that would change in short order. On the ensuing kickoff, off the bounce, the Lancer return man gets control of the ball and then sets off upfield to put Manchester to within one point. And after the two-point conversion, the Lancers capitalize and the Cavaliers find themselves trailing by one. After the kick, Coach Conklin sends his offense in, but on the third down, the Lancer defense held ground, and Clover Hill would punt back to the visitors. The Manchester offense now appeared for the first time in the game. They would drive into Cavalier territory, carried the game into the second quarter, and after several standoffs, the Lancers' running game made their way into the end zone, and then the Lancers make the pass to seal the two-pointer. The Cavaliers trailing 16-7, and they would come back with the run. Joel Caleb again adding to his rushing total on the night. Then it's Thane Bruce making the great grab, and it's another Clover Hill game. The Cavaliers looked again to have the momentum, but the Clover Hill drive came to an end on an interception off Olsen's pass that would be returned all the way back downfield for another Lancer touchdown. The Cavaliers now needed to make a big play, and Coach Brown tried to talk up his defense as they would go up against the two-point conversion. But the Lancer two-point attempt again would be successful, and Manchester tacks on more points to the board. Kenny White takes the ensuing kickoff for the Cavaliers and returns it back downfield to place the Cavaliers in good field position. And things were looking up once again as Coach Conklin tried to get his offense back in the end zone before the end of the first half. It was not to be, though, and Manchester defense would win the ball back once again on downs. Coach Brown pushed his defense now to focus and to hold the Lancers' final drive of the half, and Josh Carey would step up to oblige him with a big stop as the teams work their way into halftime under the full moon. The Lancers receive the kick to start the second half, and the Cavaliers' Tyler Grove steps up to make the stop, which gave the Clover Hill defense a needed boost as they got ready to take the field. Connor Donnelly next lifted the spirits of the Cavaliers as he makes the takedown behind the line of scrimmage. Once more, the Lancers were able to make the big play, though. And with the long pass downfield, and then several rushing plays. Again, they found their way across the Cavalier goal line, taking it in for the two-point conversion as well. The Cavaliers made several short yardage plays, but again, after the stops by the Lancer defense, they would call on Donnelly to punt the ball away, and the Lancers getting the good return once again, putting themselves in good field position and ready to strike at the Cavalier end zone. The two teams would continue in a standoff as the third quarter came to a close. Early in the fourth, Olsen made use of the pass to take the Clover Hill offense into the Lancer end of the field, sending a couple of strong passes to the way of Chris Conklin. The strong play of the Lancer defense would yet end this drive as well. 
with Manchester's offense now set up for one more drive, and they would drive in to score to wrap up the game as teams, coaches, and cheerleaders greet at midfield. The Lancers win 38-7 over the JV Cavaliers.